listen, brothers, man. Let me get towards the end of our show here, man. But it was a debate we had the other day. And people were talking about who's better in a prime, let's say they prime, Eddie Murphy of Dave Chappelle. Mm. If they had a versus, who do you have? <laughs> I got to go. First of all, let me tell you something. I'm being hypocritical because I, I'm a person that I usually don't want the errors to have comparisons because I think you don't get a chance to appreciate them. I first want to say that I think um, I think uh, Dave Chappelle is the greatest comedian of his time. I may be inclined to say that Eddie is the greatest of all time, uh, but I'll reserve that for Richard Pryor. I do think Eddie Murphy uh, ultimately was the more talented and better stand-up. I think what happens is Dave Chappelle is so relevant to the times. Um, I think Dave Chappelle is the smartest comedian I've ever heard. Uh, what he takes um, from world events and news that's going on and how he can take it and, and, and make bits out of it, I think is, is brilliant. But I think Eddie is a master impressionist. I think Eddie did something that I rarely see. Eddie took an over an hour with Delirious and every single bit to me stood up. Every single bit from, from ice cream truck to, to the, the beatings, to the Michael Jackson sketch, the James Brown, every single thing I think landed and there was no lulls in the show. Um, I think the other thing was he was one of the first to do it on that scale. Um, he's one of only five comedians that have sold out Madison Square Garden, but I just think his talent, uh, you know, uh, also I know this is not fair to throw in, but he is a movie star. Uh, Chappelle is not a great uh, movie star actor. Um, but if we just keep it to the stage, I think what Eddie could do on the stage. And then the, the other thing I will use is when uh, Dave Chappelle allowed uh, Will Smith to do five minutes before his stand up. Dave Chappelle in the vehicle on the way over said Eddie Murphy is the only person that makes me nervous on stage when he's in the audience because I know that he did this better than me. So that is uh, why I go with Eddie. And just with the eye test, I thought Eddie was uh, more groundbreaking and I thought Eddie was uh, a better stand up. I, I agree because the early Dave Chappelle was not that good to me. I'm not going to say how corny, but I really didn't. Uh, we seen no, but you got to go I'm prime for prime, though. Prime for prime. Even in the prime, Eddie Murphy, I wasn't too young to see Eddie Murphy in the club. Eddie Murphy, to me, probably was funnier than Dave Chappelle in the club. I saw Dave Chappelle before he got big. Even in his prime, Dave Chappelle's first specials wasn't that dope to me. They were his first one. When he was like wearing the jeans and regular dude, not when he coming out now with smoking a cigarette and all that cool shit. He was in your opinion, was Chappelle's in your opinion, was Chappelle's best stand up? Best, best special. His last two were pretty Sticks good. Sticks and stones, right? The last yeah. two. It's the last two that I was last, last yeah, the last two yeah. was last best one. If yeah. you gotta choose one, which one would that be? I think Sticks and Stones is the greatest work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's his greatest work. That's his greatest work. Ever. Now, does that does yeah. that top delirious or wrong? No, no. No, Delirious, no. we are still telling jokes. People are still telling jokes from Delirious. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Like, I say, yeah. Yeah. I the thing is, <laughs> the, <laughs> thing is <laughs> the thing is, but are we still laughing at those jokes? That's the question. I think that, that a time, a time, the timing played a role. I think that in that time, Eddie Murphy's timing was perfect to come along and do something like that. And to me, it was like a, a follow-up of what Richard Pryor did, like live on the Sunset Strip and all right. stuff like that. Um, Eddie Murphy to me, and I'm not saying Eddie Murphy wasn't funny and delirious and raw was classic for its time. But I think when I look at Eddie Murphy's quality of jokes, he played it safe a lot. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, he used a lot of things that Dave Chappelle was never able to, to use. Like Eddie Murphy, when he came out there with those suits and the gloves, that was all about sex appeal, trying to get women having his shirt open and all of that stuff like dave Chappelle comes out raw and he's he's up there with raw talent and i don't think that eddie murphy was completely like that that's why i'm gonna say as far as talent wise i think dave Chappelle was the funniest com funniest comedian i saw dave Chappelle when he was first starting out and dave Chappelle did a skit about a pet monkey that he had excuse my French, anybody watching the show, that used to jerk him off. And it was probably one of the most hilarious things I've ever seen in my life. Eddie Murphy never made me almost throw up, but Dave Chappelle has. Got you, got you. Now, yeah. I'll say this, Rodney, when it comes to the way jokes age, mm -hmm. 
the problem with a joke is where it's different than music, obviously, when you know the punchline, it will never make you laugh quite the same because you know the punchline. Correct. You know what Correct. I mean? So that's that's the reality. There's still an element of surprise. No, I'm, I'm saying that, that, that there's things that can still make me laugh today. You know what I'm saying? I get your point. And there's a reason why Eddie Murphy won't do stand-up again now because he knows that he won't be able to scrape the surface now. There's too many more funny people out there now than him. Yeah, I think, well, Chappelle, I, I think Chappelle's earlier work was I'm gonna say there you go, Marvel. Dave, Dave, Dave is better than Dave is better than Dave Chappelle's earlier work. You look back was trash. I think he's funny and now older, wiser, and he and certain things he picks up certain things. His whole cigarette thing is Big Gregory. That's a whole timing thing. The yeah, thing with the cigarette is a, a timing thing. So think, he, he, he he's, sticks a little parts of the older guys a lot. When you say like Murphy did the whole stand up from like Richard Pryor, but a lot of Dave Chappelle things he took a lot of little things and and Eddie it has talent. When he did the Norton thing and all those people like that and all that kind of stuff, it was just funny, man. Funny yeah, Eddie, Murphy, Eddie, Eddie, Murphy did had, Eddie, I think Eddie, Eddie Murphy, Murphy was funny thing. with skits, and the thing is too, I think that Eddie Murphy had Saturday Night Live to also catapult his career. And well, you know, the Chappelle to, Show really catapulted your boy, though. Well, I understand, yeah. but the thing is too, that was pretty much all Dave Chappelle. Um, Eddie Murphy had Saturday Night Live, which had a mixed following. You only basically back when Eddie Murphy was on there, they was only putting one black person on there at a time. You know what I'm saying? You can't come on here black until Eddie leaves. You know what I'm saying? It was it was like that. So I think Saturday Night Live helped Eddie Murphy a lot. Well, That's so just my personal opinion. I can say, oh, you can see Chappelle showed the same thing. I'm yeah, exactly. Chappelle showed the same thing. Okay, show. no, listen. Oh, you just said it. You said Chappelle show. Eddie Murphy was on Saturday Night Live. That wasn't his show. I know. Let me finish. Oh, let me finish. but I want people only watch him let, on it. Let, let me finish my statement. Chappelle yeah. show. Oh, Chappelle also had a hard white following in his earlier cornier jokes to me. Mm. And that's what also helped his show elevate too, because he had a corny. Dave Chappelle was corny to me, man. I would, I would, I would, I would, I would never, show. I never want ask Chicken Wing. We was at the comedy club every Friday. And I said, "Yo, kid, I can walk out on Dave Chappelle." Eddie, Eddie was live on Saturday Night Live. That's a little different. Being live. And he's like, you watch Chappelle when he hosted Saturday Night Live, a lot of the sketches, it was a little foreign to him to actually read those cue cards and stuff live. It's a lot different yeah. to press. And remember, they were going to cancel Saturday Night Live until Eddie Murphy. They fired everybody but Murphy and Piscopo. Um, yeah. Dick Ebersol took over. I mean, he got rid of everybody except Piscopo and Eddie. And he said, Eddie Murphy has to be in the first five minutes of the show every week because that's what he was watching. I think right now what we're doing, we're going through the LeBron Jordan argument. That's what yeah. it is. Yeah, that's we're what it is. about people that are so elite. They're so great. And I, and I don't ever want to, in comparison, detract from the other. I just think it's a matter of preference. But I think um, the reason you have a Chappelle is because you had an Eddie Murphy. And that's why sometimes exactly. me, the tie goes to the groundbreaker. Yeah, the same way you did the same way you got to Eddie through uh through through uh, Richard, Richard Pryor, the same way you got to Richard Pryor through Red Fox. You know, every 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 comedian has had that predecessor, and in order to reach those heights, you had to have um that television show, that platform, whatever that was, man, that could just help. Um, and you're subject to your generation. You're subject, in other words, yeah. the impressions that Eddie Murphy started off doing was Ali and, and Jimmy Carter and stuff. That's oh, what it was. Man. I mean, you know. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Shaggy made a whole song off of it. It wasn't me. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? For I, I, I me, mean, I'm, I'm a Chris Rock fan. Or, or maybe Chris Rock is funny, too. Absolutely. He's brilliant. I think he's brilliant, too. Um, do you, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. how about this? Would you guys go for this and say that Eddie Murphy is more of an actor comedian and Dave Chappelle is a better stand-up comedian? Would you say that? I'm not going to say prime. Now, some people will say, but what I'm saying is prime, if you look at prime, those sketches, early on in the prime and the way you had to work those clubs and stuff and to come out because think about it we're talking about the lyrics and raw and in comedy central still shows raw we're yeah. talking about that you're talking about you know nearly 40 years later you know what i mean it, it, it's like when somebody says uh one of my friends was like oh chris brown is a better dancer he's more athletic than michael jackson i don't even think they're the same stratosphere yeah mm. you could be more athletic but i mean at the end of the day the way to, to be a groundbreaker is so different because it gives that blueprint. I think, I think that Chappelle is a smarter. I think he is even by Eddie Murphy's admission, he is he is the smartest comedian maybe ever. Oh, sure. And I, I think he's just brilliant. Like I said, I'm splitting hairs here. You know what I mean? Yeah, Dave had the shows, but Eddie had the movies. That's why I said that's my energy. 
Yeah, that's my point. I look at Eddie Murphy and I say, that's why I think Eddie Murphy did better at movies and films. I thought he was a better actor comedian where Dave Chappelle is more of a stand. He'd get on the stage and he could tear it down. I think like, okay, if we brought Eddie out the dirt right now and said, do a, a comedy show, I don't think it would be hilarious. Well, Eddie, Eddie doesn't have the same connection though, yeah. man. I mean, he's, a, he's, I think Eddie at this point is more of a victim of his own success. And he's not in the same areas that, that he was able to draw that comedy mm. from. He's not there anymore. You know what I mean? So I think no, that has yeah, I don't think that. he would be funny at all. I don't no, I agree. I agree. But I think it unless has to be Unless somebody else unless somebody else that was funny wrote it for him. You know, I, so. I think comedy has a lot to do with deprivation. I think when you're hungry, it's just like boxing. I, I think it yeah. is. I mean, Chappelle, I gotta admit, Chappelle is the Mayweather of comedy. He 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 tells jokes like he's broke. Yeah. Yeah. And he pushes he pushes the envelope too. Definitely. You know yeah, and he definitely. never pushed the envelope. Well, before we go, I wanted to say the best comedian ever did a movie. Best comedian movie was Pootie Tang. Side of time, side of time. <laughs> <laughs> a side of tang. Oh.